Again, for, for a guy like, like Jason Jenkins, I thought he was really good for, for Leinster. Um, you know, obviously bringing the kind of grit and the toughness that, uh, you know, uh, Jock uh, wants from, from a lock. Um, but again, I, I think he could possibly be the guy taking over from a guy like, like Erge Sneeman, who was part of the setup and is now kind of, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if he's still injured. I'm not, I'm not sure he's still injured again. If, if he's still injured, but I think a, a good replacement. Um, you know, for a guy like Erge Sneeman, because he's shown again in the in the Leinster colours how good he can be with the physicality, you know, doing the donkey work and really, you know, being that kind of. Is, is it with the gamble at the moment, Erge Sneeman? Can you still invest in him? I think Last so. time he turned out for the green and gold was the Rugby World Cup. Yes, he he's does. Done not yeah. much for mm. for clubs. Done not much for country. Do you throw in the towel? What do you do? Swiss? You must be so careful, those guys are injury prone, you know. The guys on form and is ready to go, let them go. If you're right and you played a few games, we can have, they will definitely, if he plays well and, and he's doing well, they will look at him again. But what I enjoyed is Jock and his guys to bring a Jason Jenkins in from Leinster. They, they're so good in line outs, mm. they're more so well, so you're getting more now, you know. If you get an Andre Estreza van Harlequins and you get in that guy from Leinster, you've got the Japanese influence, by the way, that it's so well against the All Blacks. So if you can get now the world IQ in from your players, imagine sitting there and, and the first thing you can ask Jason, so what do they do? What's their secret? Mm. I would like to know what's their secret at Leinster. So you're getting stronger and you're building your ownership so strong if you use those guys clever that you bring in. One thing that the previous coaches did not have, Mm. Alistair and those guys before, the coaches before had to pick what's available. That was the arrangement. Since Rossi and them took over, that changed. You know, they said, we'll be the coaches that we can pick mm. from, from the whole spectrum in the world, and, and which I back, which is so good. You know, we need to have the best guys playing in the green and gold. Even Russ, uh, joining the squad, do you think he'll get some more game time? Because we saw him in Bloom, and that was the end. But when? When, when, when will he get the game time? I would, I would want to, to, to actually give him go, give more game time, but the question is where? Because you have Jasper Wiesel, who's, yeah, been, who's been phenomenal in the green, the green and gold jersey. You've got Kwaha. You've got, uh, uh, you know, Franco Mostert, who can cover lock, uh, you know, and, and lose forward. Uh, Peter Steff. So, it's, it's, it, again, it's, it's good to have him there. I think that the timing of when you give him an opportunity to show what he's worth is going to be important. Because, again, you don't want him just to be there, like Troy just said now, just being that third fourth, uh, fifth player in the mix and not, not playing. Because then we'll get to a point where next year, where he actually has a dip and everyone's asking about where and why is he not performing. It could be that game against England, because I'm having a look, Jasper Visa might not be available, guys from Japan, from the loose cheer setup. Marco van Staden of the Bulls should be in the mix. You've got to see a Colisi, Peter Steff, um, Dion Fury. So you could maybe get a look in a game against England and from, from that Italy game. He's a, a guy like Ivan Russ? Yeah, he's a specialist eight. Mm. So, you know, they won't fiddle around with seven and six too much with him. He's like Dwayne. He plays eight. And, and I like it. Like a Warren Whiteley, uh, you play your position in the, in, in, like in the spine, two, nine, eight. Not to fiddle, fit, you know, that's your position. Mm. So I don't know where we're going to fit him in. Maybe under strength games. But having a look at Dwayne playing yesterday, mm. very good game for... for for Ulster, he stole that final ball at the end there. He played 80 minutes and such a tough game. And for him to, to win them the game, to make sure they beat them at the end while stealing that ball, he is still a fantastic player for us. So I don't know, Mackie, you're so right. I don't know where you're going to fit him in. He had 30 minutes in Bloemfontein, as far as I recall. Yeah. And that was it. So we can't just bring these guys in for 30 and 20 minutes. We'd rather play him and then a full game in the 18, you know, uh, in the SA 18.